Welcome back, everybody, to Complexity versus Fnatic map number two. We are here on Inferno to see if Fnatic are going to be able to close it out in a spectacular fashion as they did over on Nuke. Pistol live, and you already see Golden getting taken down. Looking for that banana control. The flash is over. Help out perfectly as Obo sits back with the kit, plays utility support, and gives a two-man advantage to Complexity. Fnatic have correctly identified, though, the fact that A is going to be the weaker site with three players making their way there. But Complexity have already rotated in on the back of the aggressive banana control, so this is still going to be a very difficult round for them. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing, as you said, definitely realizing it, but just how long it actually takes them to move forward. Already three set up. Rush though, not even going to need any help. Just spots the head of Crims. They're coming over to the balcony. And yeah, it's looking like Complexity, they might be able to actually pick up this pistol round and do so convincingly. And that is something that they're going to need after how that previous map ended. I'm sure it was a little bit demoralizing for them. A couple of rounds that they should have had. Oba right now in long, really doesn't want to be facing in on this too aggressively. They have a good setup around the bomb site. They have three of them who could work together. But as the smoke goes down at this point, he can spam Drew a little bit. He can try and help out Config once he gets contact. And yeah, Obo actually gets both of those kills. There we go. Complexity without taking a single casualty. Managed to pick up that pistol round. I think the only man to take any config was config uh, damage was config, and he got hit for like six. Wow. Well, I'm still shaking a little bit after that previous game, but looking at the pistol, things did start out well for complexity. I mean, you look at the setup they had; it was fantastic. Obo waiting on the flash, not giving away his position. They swing, they take a kill, fall back, flash over and re-peek in to, to seal the deal essentially this buy is not one i like to see five smgs in play and especially because Fnatic didn't plant the bomb you know they're going to be investing coming into the next round and for complexity that means that if they lose any players here which is looking unlikely but if they do that player is going to be severely weakened moving into the next buy round in terms of the backup economy that they've got to work with and even at that the investment will be difficult to come by it's just not enough money for plain and simple not enough money to go around for all these smgs yeah that's the unfortunate thing we always gonna say really the max you want is three likely to go down here yeah indeed config gonna be able to get himself that one i mean they do overall manage to set, uh, spread the kills out quite evenly you see two for config one for obo blame f and poison it was only of course the one man being rush who wasn't able to go ahead and get anything off the back of his mp9 investment but they can keep these weapons they can take a little bit of a bonus round approach and perhaps just go for something a little bit more crazy i think that likely is the goal here considering you see no one at all upgrading but they have a lot of nades so then again that's not really needed because these can still be effective if you're able to efficiently run down that time and bring it into a position where Fnatic are going to be going into a, a site late round with still some molotovs and smokes and such in play forcing them in towards those mp9s so we'll have to see how it goes Fnatic in trouble with again the flashbang through from Obo, the same as the pistol round. And this setup works out perfectly for them, but Flusha, he can see through smoke. The SMGs tearing them to pieces, Dean. Look at that from Rush, holding down middle single-handedly, swinging. It wasn't even on the back of flashbangs, just well-connected shots. And Fnatic a little slow to follow up on these rifles. Now left into a 1v4 brawl and is going to have to have another insane clutch. The timing isn't great for him. As they come out, they've spotted him now, and that should pretty much end his chances of taking it. He's looking for a player on the site, but already tucked up close. Rush does get a headshot onto him, leaving him to 22 HP, and Brawlin's impact from that point can be expected to be quite limited. Yeah, surely not. I mean, we we didn't count them out in that insane two on five when he had crims to back him up this time though here on inferno being low health that was actually the low health player left on the ct side that he is able to finish off poison goes down and okay flash going in it did allow him to spot obo as he went in towards arch i don't think obo realized he was spotted that was the main reason that he was willing to repeat brolin had definitely seen him but was also afraid that there was going to be another player up close on the left side that was ready to follow up as well Unfortunately, the timing for him, just as he looked away from Arch, he goes down. That is going to be complexity, as you said. Managing to be very dominant there with those MP9s that we were we were a little bit worried about. The fact that they had the five in play, but they make it work. Now they give themselves three AKs. They have the op in the hands of Poison as well as he's bought that up. And up against only pistols in this one, meaning it's likely going to be 4-0. That's the start they want to get off to. Revenge from the previous map. Ready for the push to come in on Banana with the pistols closing the distance. The complexity still come out on top. Again, 
Same setup. Obo comes through, pops the flash. This is given away that complexity are very early on taking that three man stack towards B. And Fnatic may eventually start to pressure A a little bit more in the early round if that's a more consistent factor. I imagine this is one of the last times you'll see that for a little bit, knowing that with the pistols in play, there was a likelihood of it being perhaps a banana rush. And it's much more easy to manage if they were to push out on the A bomb site quickly than if your B players get overwhelmed. Great nade as well. Oh, rush though. I don't think you realized that there was a gap in that smoke towards the apartments. It's given a pretty uh -oh. good opportunity over the Fnatic to do some damage here. They've brought it into a one on three for Crims. A much better position than it was looking to be just a few seconds ago. It's given them a bomb plant even. So this round has turned into a pretty big success for Fnatic. Even if Crims isn't able to do much more, it's still something they can be quite happy with. And indeed, they will be able to go ahead and actually close it out from that point forward. Roland said bad smoke in the chat. Yeah, he's letting them know. Rush said shaking my head. <laughs> well, at least yeah, no, it, was, it was a little bit awkward. Yeah, let, letting them know. Like, yeah, make sure you fix that next time, guys. It's good, good, good sportsmanship. Yeah. It's just so you know, you're you're messing up your smokes. You might get me next time with it. But four to zero, and you actually saw Rush take out the Molotov. He was thinking about throwing it, but I, I think he decided not to just on the decision making of I don't need to waste a molly, but instead all of his utility goes by the wayside, getting domed out. So here we move into another buy round, and I want to see if uh, this time not Obo moving towards the B side, but there is still a third player there. A different setup as they move in aggressively early on. Looking to nade heavily down through Banana and seize a little bit of control. Stop Fnatic from claiming it. They do so successfully. Poison hasn't yet fully cleared it, so I'm surprised that they leave completely. He is playing passive on the corner, though, as he starts to fall back. And this gives him a nice angle. This is somewhere we see complexity holding quite a bit whenever Poison is playing towards B. In fact, even now going to the bomb site afterwards, something must have spooked him there that he doesn't want to hold close anymore. But this does rob them of a lot of information. Luckily, Fnatic are hitting that A-bomb site quite slowly. But the crossfire on the middle, there's three players, two to the right, and one still not spotted close left towards Long, who catches them off guard. And all things considered... Oopsie daisies, how does Crims get away with that? Not quite sure. Will eventually get caught jumping around the corner, not expecting a fourth player to be on this side of the map. But they will eventually trade out config, keeping it in the one-on-one. -on -one. So this is really not a bad spot for Flushing out to have himself in. There is a Molotov in play for Poison. Not going to put it down instead. Coming in through long as the flash is dropped. Flush it just with the one tap. Knowing the exact angle they're being like, okay, there's a good chance he's holding library here to try and pin me in on the bomb site. I'm going to pre-fire that. If he's not there, then I have time to reposition. If he is there, you see exactly what happened. An opening round for Fnatic being found, but it's an extremely close one as it comes down to the one-on-one -on -one in the end. Fnatic building up the round, just one more to go before their opponents won't have a lot of cash to work around. That was a solid connection though by complexity, the or original setup was decent, having the three players close right, one long, here we go, early play again from complexity, three players on the right side, lots of victims potentially for JW, he's mollied back though, and doesn't stick inside it and risk losing some health, as that doesn't happen, they get away, and not just away with their lives, but also with murder, taking down two of the T's as they fade back. Brawl and trying to poke out on A. They've spotted 3B. They know this is the weaker side. And if they continue to show presence, they're hoping Brawl will get something done on A. But as they lose another in Banana, it doesn't really seem worthwhile. JW just barely escaping Banana right there. Brawl has given them an opening in pin. I believe he should have done the opposite round long, but actually putting a smoke down towards Moto is going to let JW push out. With that, at least giving them the bomb plant here, securing that extra economy for them to work with in the following round which would help out a couple of those players with buy-in. Can they still win this one? I mean, it's possible. Broland's still alive. This man has been doing some incredible things so far. It was Crims and Flush it in the previous one who were able to bring Fnatic over the finish line. This time we have a different duo to try and attempt it. And I mean, JW, he's going on an adventure. He was hoping to try and find some of these players early before they could really set themselves up for the retake. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened. And now Broland, as you can see, being caught around the pit. Having to try and take that fight for himself goes down as the flash was perfect and they check that flank just in case. JW caught coming out of Byler. There is a kit for config, so plenty of time for that defuse. And well handled again by Complexity. Fnatic now locked out for a little bit. And allow them to 
continue to build up this kind of a scoreline. You mentioned, Dean, when we were talking about the maps that were in play, despite Fnatic coming into Inferno looking decent, complexity definitely still stood a chance when it came here. And indeed, in the series in general, we did want to see them take it 2-0 if they were going to have a, a good shot of winning. And you see why with the already good start on Inferno with how close Nuke was, just defined literally by two individual plays pulling them through it. Oh, this time they're going to be punished, though, as they move down through Banana. Lusha looks to finish him off with a nade and a Glock. Just light him up a little more beforehand. Good trades and a four versus three. They're going to be happy with that situation. I'm moving back to apply a little bit more pressure towards Banana. The rotate already through from Obo as they suspect an A hit. And I think the possibility for an A hit is definitely still open. But I would imagine they would want to force rotates first. And instead, slowly creeping up towards that B site. Making the perfect read on how Complexity are playing this. As you said, with the amount of time, it could still be a possibility that they would move back towards A, but as they start throwing down their nades, they will move in. They'll realize that this bomb site is completely open, and Complexity, not really being given any other option than to save, will be forced to make that decision. And, I mean, with that, at least they'll have a pretty solid buy in the next round. They do have money left over and a couple of players to drop. But Fnatic, they've got themselves their second round here now on the T side. It's it's all about that grind, as we said. If they can manage to bring it up to around six or seven rounds here on the T side of Inferno, that's when you start feeling good. Oh yeah, that's it for Fnatic. You, you want to have a decent T side, considering how the map is um is set up for them for in this particular match. I think yeah, so, so long as they're at six or above. They'll be in a comfy spot. They've had a poor enough start, but losing out the pistol, we expect things to kind of spiral a little, little bit. The banana control that's been consistently taken by Complexity was causing them a lot of hassle. But it looks like they've finally been able to deal with it. Complexity pushing forward, but then getting flashed as they came through the smoke, caught on one side of it. And it was great work done to shut them down. The other factor you have to consider is that the offers are not going to be as active when it comes to Inferno. Certainly not T-side as we're seeing from JW taking out that AK-47. And you'll see him with that for quite a lot of this map. It's just so much harder to, to find useful spots to use that op in when it comes to the attacking side of this map. Oh, brawling. What? He had his knife out to try and close the distance. Didn't suspect the repeat, but Obo around the corner with three swinging into short. And catching them completely by surprise. Only the UMP remains now for a 1v4. I don't want to call a clutch too early anymore, Dean, after the previous map. But walking in, Rush has already oh, no. surpassed him. And it looks like this. this is the end. Oh, wait, oh. hang on. Uh -huh. They're pretty much back to <laughs> back right now. Side to side, more like it. Yeah, Flush has creeped past into the apartments. This won't be expected, so it could let him get the drop on one player. But oh, bringing it over towards Boiler, I don't think he'll be able to catch Obo off guard. I mean, 73 health, one towards the head with the UMP is at least possible. Maybe swings in quick, expecting though up on the, the kind of wooden thing that's there. I don't think he's expecting that angle. And okay, actually does manage to spot him. Get the kill in time. Is retrie retrieving himself an AK as oh. well. And okay, suddenly it's a one on two. But yeah, there we go. Eventually, the player that he had bypassed just outside the apartments. Obviously, once he gets that info, it, it's kind of a two way street. Then Flusha obviously wouldn't be expecting him anymore. It, it kind of flips. The apartments pushed by complexity though was really the thing that won them that round. You see Obo with his three kills. They lined up perfectly, and that was a huge blind spot for them. When you're early on locking them out of peeking in through Boiler, and by the by the time that Molly's faded that they will have thrown in from second middle, you get up top mid, you find yourself a kill. They're scrambling to spot the refrag coming in from short. Well, that was mollied off, so they're looking then instead towards long or for anybody up on the balcony thinking about the apartments player, but not thinking that he would have pushed all the way up like that. It was a very brave play by Obo, but... One that ultimately won them the round. And it was kind of looking a little bit awkward in the beginning. Poison also been able to get that one kill for himself. Wasn't looking too likely. They had closed in the distance. They had the flashes and such in. And he was just initially trying to escape. But then he did manage to peek back in. Get the one. Acted as that form of distraction for the entire series of events that you just talked about to happen. Mm hmm yeah, and I mean, yeah, as you said, just huge from Obo. He was definitely the turning point in that round. Pretty I much sealed the deal of it within only like 30 seconds at the beginning. I do think it was, I think it was Rush that was with him as well. I spotted there was a second player that was pushing apartments as well. So it wasn't like they were just committing randomly to a guy pushing apps and it happened to work out. I think the strategy for that round was to have Brawl and 
uh, or not Brawlin, excuse me, whoever the player was that was sat down on short to be holding their solo and then Rush and Obo. It was poison on short, yeah. It was poison, ah, okay. So even, yeah, of course it makes more sense with the AWP. He had such a, such a struggle when they got close like that. Uh, but Rush and Obo would then push through. They would grab themselves the apartment's control together, spot out mid, and then you could have an early rotate through to the B bomb site if no one was there. But instead, it just played perfectly into what Fnatic were trying. And this time, you see Fnatic have one player coming in through apartments as they go for top mid control. No surprise that that's, uh, that's on its way now. Yeah, the switch up in performance from JW, though, is a little bit worrying early on. As you said, though, with it being Inferno, it's very difficult to get the op out here. He hasn't even bothered when he's had the money just sticking to the rifle, so he can pick up the pace a little bit. And there we go. Whenever you call out a player, it seems like they do hear you. They start to give you what you need. And in this case, it is frags for Fnatic. Will go down, though, to config in towards the arch. But a one for one trade is not a bad position, especially as it opens up that CT spawn now for them to wrap in towards that B bomb site if they want. I think they're going to try and move back in and see if they can catch Obo, who is rotating in Drew Library. Although, for the moment, they're going to a one-on-one, -on -one, so Brolin needed to win that fight, and there we go. He will be successful. They catch the mid-aggression as well, and the A bomb site is just gone. This one's over for Poison and Config. I mean, Poison tries to rush in the banana, but doesn't expect Flush it to still be close. Mm-hmm. swinging around yeah it was weird it was weird here they obviously did keep some money so that they'll be able to get the best buy possible not in the next round but the one after it could also give them a chance for a couple of pistols in this next round if they wanted to have the opportunity for damage in this round and the following just so that they can keep the economy low of fanatic and that one kill from poison being found has given him an ak so if he can get one more kill maybe even save that weapon over give themselves a chance in the next one to do even further damage and that would be fantastic and there we go he's got crim still lurking around top mid Flashed Golden off that angle he was holding, but with Golden being low, he probably doesn't really want to be facing this anyway. Has to help at JW, but wouldn't have if the peak came in from top mid there. Only now are they closing in the distance. Poison on the underpass has been spotted, and yeah, now this is scary. JW doesn't want to drop in there. He's just going to be going for some wall bangs, and Poison at this point needs to just run away. If he can save the AK over, that's really the, the best thing he's going to get out of this round, but nah, hunted by Flusher. I don't think there's too much mystery to unravel in that one. A fairly clean round from start to finish complexity, just with pistols. The investment in this, he's config on a 5.7, a P250 for poison, but it, it is very little. Nothing substantial. Like you said, Dean, saving up their money for the next round. Keeping it in play. Going to be a 5-man A stack. A little bit of nade down mid, not connecting it to anything. Fnatic have got B open, and they are pressuring top and out, and not seeing anyone when they're on an eco like this. Yeah, well, you can have one of two conclusions. Either they're all stacked up on B waiting for you to come through, which they know isn't true because there's already been a little bit of noise towards top mid. But maybe four of them are there, ready for you. Or that they're stacking up A, and it looks like Fnatic haven't made that read. If Brawlin does well, now they have. Look at that. Pistols absolutely everywhere. Brawlin's been isolated in close-range fights. But it is one at a time that they move forward. He's able to isolate the angles. Make sure he's not overwhelmed by numbers. Yeah, it was really, pretty good of an actor to be able to overcome that. As it looked, it looked like Brolin was actually going to move out Boiler, and that would have been a bit of trouble for them. JW nearly getting caught there by the final player on the bomb site, but gets the CZ out in time. Finds the headshot, gives us a couple of tea bags. And with that, also gives Fnatic a fifth round on the board. As expected, though, we won't really... 
expecting to see much come true from complexity there in that round obviously now coming back onto the buyers where they want to get back into winning ways this was the round that they were mostly focused on and they have a pretty strong buy they have the opt for poison at least but you see a small weakness there with blame f having to go for the famas so that he can get out the full nades because they do lack a little bit on towards a couple of the uh, a couple of the other players Fnatic going straight up. Banana looking for the control. A few nades being thrown in initially, not really been able to connect any damage from the CTs. And a Molotov had actually forced Config to stay aggressive around this corner. His teammate not able to help him for the moment, but with the smoke down, you don't really see Fnatic moving any further forward. At least not for now. That nade though, and Rush getting a kill elsewhere. A kill and a lot of damage suddenly being found. Nice little nade as well on the flushes. He's on 11. We're talking about damage with complexity. They're leading the charge in that one by quite a bit coming into the last minute of the round. Fnatic with that man disadvantage. The bomb left towards the bottom of Banana. They are working something on top mid, but it looks like trying to bait in some aggression from complexity. Flush should then take the close range fight with the AK and domed them down the bomb was left in the open at the bottom of banana had they have peaked a car they would have seen it and that would probably have prompted them to throw a smoke down or start to move in and get flush a, a few opportunities any fall on though it would have been a disaster they pick it up eventually and start moving towards the bomb site itself as crims has managed to sneak his way through the ct they are aware of this possibility but that splits the attention of the b defenders as they move in towards the site Config finds an instant double as they come through the smoke, making what was becoming a bit of a possibility for Fnatic, unfortunately, into a round where they don't really have too much hope at this point. Crims is not being quiet about his like true construction either. Yeah, being spotted by Config, who goes ahead and brings it up to the hat trick for himself. And of course, with the assistance of Russian Blame F, they take a very convincing round. That's what they need as they get back into winning ways, right? Because what, they lost three rounds there in a row where we were seeing Fnatic managing to recover their T side back into a pretty good position. And taking that there with five players alive obviously leaves them in a spot where they have a bit of money left over now in the reserve. Ideally, though, they don't want to be losing a round anyway. If they can come out with a 10 to 5 half, I think that's kind of where they'll be feeling really comfortable. Especially considering how they've begun this CT side. They were up 5-1, 6-2 at one point. It was looking pretty good for them. Oh, look at that banana take. Molotov's absolutely everywhere. Nades in just to finish off any players that might be lurking around and towards the tree. And this is what we saw from Complexity in the previous round, doing a world of damage. Delivering so much when it came down to the utility usage. Had Fnatic have had early intentions of moving up, they would have been destroyed. But instead, they've used up all their util on B, given away the three-man stack. Fnatic wants to move towards the A side, but the rotates are already through. They are walking into a fairly well-stacked up defense. The bomb down towards... Yeah, but see, this is it. Fnatic did it in the previous round as well, right? They take top mid control, then they lay on go towards B. The smoke execute through. This definitely looks like it's going to be a CT play as well, from the complexity perspective at least. As Fnatic move forward, the bomb's still in T spawn. You see, they're just faking it out. They're trying to drag rotates and cause some noise for complexity to react to. And now, back to potentially back down to B? Or maybe not as they continue to use up util. I'm not sure, because, I mean, they, they obviously have right now Flushy who can go back and retrieve the bomb if they want to bring it A. They can still get it and go back towards B, but as you said, with those nades now being expended on towards the A bomb site with not really any smokes left with just a couple of mollies and some flashes, it does mean they likely will be committing. And indeed, still four players in this general area. They have a player in the point guard who can help around long. They have Rush obviously right in the pit as he actually covers his teammates off as the Rush comes in towards the bomb site, letting them focus a little bit more over towards long, but we still see Fnatic managing to trade it down to the two on two. Oh, Blame F, I don't know if they'll expect this so quickly. He's actually going to go in towards the apartments instead. Probably for the best. Doesn't want to risk going down before Config can get into position to help. They know at this point that Blame F was towards long, and the smoke coming out definitely gives away his spot. Config on the AWP he stands a chance to catch one off guard, but Flame F needs to stay alive for long enough for that pick to come through. As Config moves forward, a wall bang successfully connected, looks to finish him off, but JW responds, booming away on a shot, and Flame F turns in the flash, but he's being spammed now, and JW swings to finish him off. Six on the board for Fnatic. 
And that round could have played out very badly because they faked A twice, essentially. The first time making noise up long, then pulling back, waiting on middle, setting up. They throw their smokes over again and then send a player down to the bottom of mid to pick up that bomb. So much time is delayed that at that point, from Complexity's perspective, I am amazingly surprised, considering the previous two rounds as well, that they didn't rotate to B, but they stayed on A with four players. But even despite that, the little utility Fnatic had left was enough to push to that bomb site, trade out one for one every single time. And for the T side, you saw the benefit of it. Once you get the bomb down, time's all of a sudden on your side. Config, hello, he gets one. Flushes one HP as well, already bailed out of banana. That's a very valuable opening pick. The smoke down so they can isolate the player who's already pushed up top, but they weren't expecting JW to be this close this quickly. I think Config did actually see him with the jump. They just weren't really able to get the shot off in time. You even spotting him that close, it's still difficult to deal with JW when he's swinging on you with an AK when you only have the pistol. So yeah, JW gets that second kill even. This is dangerous. Oh, he's up close to the smoke right now. I think he's going to go around and maybe spot him. The timing, though, could be unfortunate. Yeah, Poison's at least going to be the first one to find contact, but still not mattering. Not able to connect the shots. We see one kill at least coming in for complexity. I think that was over towards A. Yeah, Obo's actually stolen himself an AK, so that's a decent recovery. But it's probably not going to give them really too much hope in actually winning this round. Unless Rush somehow manages to get himself a kill here to drop it to the 2v2. Because the bomb, it is about to be planted. And there you go. Now the clock's going to be working against the complexity boys as well. Yeah, the pressure is definitely on the damage done to Flush and JW, though, Dean. This is tragic. They could get in here. They could really win this round. I mean, the, the chances in the heads-up aim duels are definitely weighted more towards them than they were in the start of the round. Problem is no kit, no armor, and the fact that they don't know how low these players are, and that's why I'm saying it's so tragic. Rush looks to catch an exit, but he doesn't find JW sneaking in a little bit later on. He's behind them. Does he get there in time? I think no, it is. the bomb takes him down. Not able to swing around without the armor as well. That hurt him. I mean, one nade even at that point would have gotten a double kill, but it is one of those situations, you know, where we know. It's like, just go for it. You get so much done. You'll maybe win the round. But to them, they don't have anything in console that lets them see the damage done or after round or anything like that. They just have to sit there and, and guess. And, you know, it's very it's very difficult to say, I think I hit him for 90. <laughs> You never know. You don't want to risk weapons on the basis of I maybe hit him for 90. I don't know. Even with the low health, just being outnumbered, it would have made things quite difficult no matter what. Yeah. Look at this from Complexity. They're charging right down mid. Obo will actually find contact. Flush it out expecting it. Combines the nade alongside the AK spam. Crims is able to get one, but Rush, he defends mid successfully on his own. That was so big. If he went down, the A bomb site was open and the round was likely over in a very difficult retake for those players towards B, but instead now they have them at advantage and it's JW and Flusher who are left to try and save the day. And JW isn't waiting for Flusher, he's just going in. At least putting the molly in towards the pit, was hoping to maybe force someone out to give him a potential opening, but as we can see, it's Rush just tucked safely in on this bomb site, or at least safely until they push oh! forward. What? JW, okay, gets dinked, but somehow reacts to that flank from Config. Oh, Rush, he's baited in, he spammed away, they know where he is and it's time to go B. They can just run away. The bomb heard slipping out, but JW's got the angle held from behind. We're ready to close out the round and put Fnatic on eight. A fantastic T side. And to look at their CT, we're going to have... And welcome back, folks. Complexity, Fnatic, map number two, half number two. We are ready to roll with the pistol round between the Complexity T side and the defense of Fnatic. As we look into the buy, you've got Crims on a kit... But Complexity have gone for a little bit of use of themselves. Two smokes and config doming JW on the attempt to push down mid. That leaves a solo brawling to hold down on A, and it looks like Complexity have that read. Yeah, they're just going to start swarming them. The first bullet being shot out, though, will connect for Brolin, giving them good hope. Gets the final one as well on Config. And the Flash making that a lot more complicated for Obo than it needed to be. It's given time for Fnag to set themselves up, but it's still not going to be enough. Obo and Blame F take back control of the round here for Complexity. And Flusha is left alone in the one on two. He is a man that you would like in these positions, though. So, as you can see, Obo is not going to be given any openings at all. Doesn't want to take that fight on his own. Retreats back to the bomb site. Although, in the meantime, Blame F has moved around towards Long. So, really, the goal here is to try and delay for that flank to come in. It is, it is certainly a little bit risky, but there we go. Obo gets the kill in the end. That's three for him. And Complexity picking up a pistol round that they did need. And they uh, 
thankfully have been able to find. If they hadn't have won that, then they would have been in a very troublesome position because obviously Fnatic, where eight rounds on their T side, were looking pretty good. But now they're going to be forcing in. So if Complexity can come out on top of this force by, at that point, they're actually going to be getting up to double digits. And they can definitely pull themselves right back on into it. And for the buy that's in it, yeah, they look even better to do so. Fnatic have the scout in play for JW that's going to have to play a huge role. And so far, obviously struggling when it came down to that T side. He did amp up his performance towards the end of the half. This is where I expect to see JW return to the glory of Nuke, at least somewhat. It's a little easier to pull out the scopes when it comes through to CT. Movement from complexity through the apartments has pushed back Brawlin. And they're no longer holding up close in the back of not having anything on boiler. It does have to be a passive mid hold gold, and he's really rolling the dice by pulling that nade. They actually heard it as well. But Config decided not to swing in wide. Adiev, even with the molly down, there was space behind it. That could have been a frag, and that bullet just whizzing straight past the head of Golden. Over towards the coffins. It was a good pre-fire. Just an inch away. Yeah, might have damaged his hair, in, but doesn't really do much <laughs> else, unfortunately. Crims with the 5-7 up close on short. Not really having anyone else playing even relatively aggressive with him. I guess the main goal being to try and maybe dink someone up, get a kill on anyone who peeks in towards Boiler. At that point, probably just fall back towards the bomb site and join up with his teammates. But it does look like Complexity are going to be heavily focusing on this area. And we've seen a third player being rotated over towards B. The scout of JW having moved on over is now going to have to begin to try and rotate back in and probably isn't going to get here in time to give much assistance to these players. Rolling again from the pit is going to be successful with two kills. Obo jumping above. This time isn't going to let that fight last nearly as long. And it looks like the rotation should be cut off. But hang on. Golden has gotten himself one. Flusha has a scout in his hands. There's a nade as well. That is throwing in. Unfortunately, going to be bouncing back off the box so it doesn't really connect anything to Obo. It's now the two on two. But some damage has been done. This is winnable. And Flusha the one spamming because he's got his full health to smoke down. He's golden. <clears throat> he takes the scout. Having the lower HP, this makes sense, but the close play by Obo. It should be a kill at least. Spotted both players. Flusha, good for one, but Rush plays that correctly. Swings up as soon as he's as his teammate is taking contact to finish off that player. They're going around the smoke together. It was couldn't have been more perfect, really. Nine to eight. And that should be double digits, as you said, Dean. Matic not able to get a whole lot out. The loss bonus is okay, so they could pull a few pistols. You already see nades in play for Brawl and Flusha and Golden, those three. The others going to keep themselves at 2400 plus. The damage is possible. Players come into Banana early on. It could spell danger with all the nades in play, and indeed it does. Oh, One, Lamar, two kills. Here we go. That is perfect. Flush a, flushing out some players from Banana. And those were some, uh, th th those, those were just sick nades. Really well timed as well. The third one I don't think was expected at all. They were like, okay, guys, we took a lot of damage, but I think the one casually is it. No? Okay, another nade. And there we go. Golden tapping away with the USP. Gonna finish off Blame F. What is happening in this round? Fortunately, the weapons still, of course, heavily favoring the Ds. For the moment, Fnatic won't be able to retrieve anything until that flank comes in, which should now start giving them some weapons. It is a Mac 10 for JW. But we do see complexity move on towards the bomb site. The question is, how quick do they expect this flank? Right now, Obo isn't at all, apparently. The fact that he doesn't have armor, he still manages to come through with the kill. Brawling with the double. The distraction by the Mac 10 in towards Banana just spraying away. And, I mean, Dean, that round was a little bit crazy. Three nades in Banana. They don't throw them early round. Lobbed them down close wall. The one round complexity decide to go up there with four players. The damage dealt is huge. Weapons retrieved on the rotate up banana. And complexity, they've got to be kicking themselves. On nuke, they gave away a 2v5 and then a 1v4. That was the reason they lost the map. Other than that, they had it in the bag. And now, not even managing to pull ahead of Fnatic by more than one round before a full eco with three nades knocks them on back to a weaker buy. Not only that, but look at the weapons Fnatic have pulled out of that. Three AKs for free. That's absolutely huge. Yeah, that's just the, honestly a painful position right now for complexity to be in. As you said, having had such a troublesome time towards the end of that previous map to close it out, to now get dropped by an eco. 
and giving Fnatic the opportunity to get themselves back into the lead. It's just going to be tough to swallow it. Honest, obviously, if they lose this first buy as well, at that point, Fnatic going to extend that lead even further. But this is just so scary for them. Grouping up on Banana. They have nades. They have a few flashes. They have Molly as well as they move in towards that B-bomb site. It is unfortunately going to be Golden. I was going to say alongside Flusher to get the kills, but it's just all Golden. He's going to actually run out of bullets now and be forced to resort to the USP, which eventually means they will be able to topple them in that B-bomb site defense. But the delay is massively. He's let everyone get themselves into position to ensure that hopefully not more than just that bomb plant is going to be conceded. As they took on back, Fnatic have all the utility to push them out. See that Molly's going to go through to the back left, but they can't peek on the back of JW already dying. Blame Fs out in the open, but no one's there to capitalize on the kill. Flash. Poison goes into the open. Didn't quite realize he was hoping he was behind the pillar. Oh, that came close. But Brawlin saves the day yet again. And a defuse to come through for Fnatic. Complexity with fantastic damage. They've pretty much undone the eco round bonus that Fnatic got. Saving over three weapons. Not having to invest into those that had the AK. It was Brawlin, Flush it, and Crims. That now you see that money reservoir start to run dry. They go all the way down to nothing. But here's the problem. Complexity can't answer back. They've only got Glocks. Their money isn't fantastic. Okay, a couple of Deagles making an appearance. Nobody's got armor. Utility is limited to one flashbang. So realistically, in the world of stats, this isn't a round that they do a whole bunch in. They've got to rely on hitting those headshots immediately. First bullet, or they'll be torn to shreds. Nice nades down as well. They're a little bit too deep, though. But you never know, Dean. When these kind of pistols come out, who knows where it's going to go. Mm. There could have been multiple players there just waiting to try and advance on towards Banana afterwards. I think that was kind of the goal. Once they got that deep Banana sm uh, smoke down, they'd hope that maybe, okay, Complexity only having pistols. They might wait. They'll hope that we might get aggressive. Then they'll move in, clear the close corners, and hopefully with that, for their own, they'd be looking to make the weapons away. So that's why they threw the nades in. Of course, we only seen that one player in the underpass, so it's a bit too deep. But it was a good idea. It's it's nice to see them trying to deal with those pistols as safely as possible to make sure that there's not going to be too much given away. And having an open and advantage here either way. I mean, Oboe's gone. It's the 5 on 4. They'll be aiming to try and keep everyone alive, ideally, as complexity now. But only 50 seconds left. They do need to get moving towards the bomb site, and it seems like it's going to be B. Yeah, when you run it into one of these rounds and it's going to be no armor, just pistols, and then you're forced to make a quick play on time, things tend to get pretty messy. And for complexity... There is no option to save, right? If this is the CT side, yeah, you just save on the side if you lost control, whatever. You need the money for the next round. If you survive, you're not going to get it. So it's not going to improve things at all. They're looking to push in. Already mollied off. I think there's a smoke in possession as well. No, there's not, actually. Both players dry on utility. Got to take fights. The flash eventually comes out very late into the round and grabs themselves a one for one. Oh, my word. They've got B. They've got two rifles picked up. The fast push in by JW. Not expected. Not punished as of yet. His teammates here to rally up. And unless Config can keep on answering with the M4 in hand. Oh, that tag is fantastic. Backing away, letting them push. He's going to try for a little bit more, but he can't land the shots. Okay, still great round for Complexity. They get in with two kills. Look at Brawlin and Crims. Painfully close to being taken down. Only 11 health each. That's the, the dinks from the M4s. Uh, it, again, though, a lot closer than Fnatic are hoping for as you said so complexity aren't going to be feeling too upset with how those previous two rounds have gone with those much weaker investments now that they're back on the full by being down by two rounds being on the t side here of inferno down by a map already everything is working against them so they need to go ahead and pick up this gun round and start showing us what they're capable of once again they're going to need to start chaining some rounds together they need to try and put a stop to the economy of Fnatic, which isn't looking too good thanks to that damage over the past two rounds so they have the chance to capitalize on it Bit wild. JW is peeking straight down mid. I would imagine they have a smoke. I don't actually see that from my perspective currently. I accidentally turned off the observer. But yeah, he's just going to back away eventually and drop the smoke once he's not really given that early opportunity. I'm not making the same error that we did. Uh, we saw in the pistol round. Once that second mid control is gone, it's it's not time to keep on rolling. Using up their smokes very early on as well in towards middle on top A. And this is because Goldman is in position to just hold down Banana by himself. The Molly comes in. He's ready for a fight. And he gets one, but it's a flash to push him off the angle first. Flush it stays where he was. He was going to start moving towards the A-bomb site. But once Golden gets pulled back, they're going to have to play this together. 
getting a boost up. They saw the Molotov come through, so they know. Oh, no, they were not, actually. I thought they were boosting up. But instead, just swapping positions over. Swapping the rifle as well, giving Flush of the off. As Golden plays Bombsite with an M4. JW's aggression in apartments. He has to get out of there quickly as they look to trade. And that's exactly what he's going to think that they think. So he's going to tuck in the corner and try to catch them off a little bit later. Big play by JW if it works out. Bit of team damage as well. Why not? I mean, not looking good. Config is on 19 health, so every single bit of team damage is going to be affecting him quite a lot. He is the player named behind the quad. Roland not really realizing he was low, wanted to wait to see if the headshot would... Or the opportunity for the headshot would arise, but it didn't. Instead, they just wait on JW to eventually pounce with that flank that you said he would have through the apartments there. And yeah, Fnatic, they take themselves another gun round. They've now got four rounds in a row here on the CT side. They have a three-round lead, likely to be increased to a four-round lead off the back of no bomb going down for complexity. Again, all they can afford is pistols and Kevlar. A few nades behind it. We have Tech Nines galore. But will it be enough for Complexity to get the round win? Probably not. But they've they've been able to keep quite a few of these close, at least. And they've avoided the nade damage from Fnatic. They've left themselves in a position to late push his side and won every single duel. JW pushing mid, tagged. He gets around the corner, drops a molly so he can't be pursued and can make it to long safely. Which is exactly what he wants them to think. So he tucks in. Close on long. Probably actually one of the better chances. If they don't clear it, if they look towards short where they're likely to take first contact, he can do a little bit of damage. But they're coming out of the apartments. And this is where danger starts to really brim and brew. Crims takes himself one, but he's got to get into the pit and stay away from the pistols, which he just can't do. Luckily, the rest of the team are doing a fine job. Somehow, JW is still alive after tucking in on middle. Like we said, catching them by surprise as they came out of apartments afterwards. Bringing it 13 to 9. They were looking for Crims, I think, when they uh, originally walked out. So JW just had them caught with the backs turned. They would have originally, obviously, presumably looked in towards Long as they walked out. Checked left, not seen him, and then come out. How do you play it on the corner with 22 HP? He probably gets pre-fired as they come around and taken down. We've seen him. He's not a man that's afraid to stay aggressive in a spot where most players would run for the hill. Basically, he's crazy. Pretty much, yeah. And you think back to Nuke coming up through Vent. That's just, that's still with me, man. With up, yeah. He, <laughs> in general, just in the series, I only haven't really seen, even just only taking the first map into account, there was some yeah. ridiculous plays from Fnatic, especially. Oh, God. It was just mental. But yeah, four round lead for Fnatic. Again, a couple of kills at least being found. They were able to bring it down to only three players surviving for Fnatic. As you said, you didn't see evidence of this Crims being able to actually escape that Tech 9 and towards the pit. He fell, there was a kill elsewhere as well. So overall, keeping the economy relatively modest for Fnatic. But they do have enough for one buy round, so it's going to have to be complexity here, getting a couple rounds in a row and starting to pick up some momentum for themselves. If they lose this gun round, it's pretty much over. Looking for the banana oh, control. The this is it. They have avoided the nades so frequently in those last couple of rounds, but eventually... They're held in banana until complexity start moving forward. Once the flash goes in, overcome the nades. And blame F on very low health. Poison tagged up a little bit. And we were talking about poison on nuke. The, the point I made by accident about him not playing too well in the past couple of nukes, which was incorrect. But it was Inferno, in fact, that I saw it. And you're seeing JW, despite not having the op battle lot on the T side, and indeed not even on the CT thus far, only now pulling it out, um, perhaps once before, Poison is struggling, but JW is not. He's adapting to playing on that rifle and then to the CT side opping mechanics that he's faced with. In fact, a double op set up towards B at this point. But Poison, on the other hand, he has definitely struggled. And, and this is, as I said afterwards when I corrected myself on Nuke, this is the map where typically you don't fear him quite as much. On the CT side, he plays a super passive role. And on the offense, he's just with a rifle. Most of the time. Yeah, that was the case for JW as well. Golden actually got caught on the smoke right there, so they definitely knew he was up close in that smoke, but he was still able to get himself one kill. Where he actually did fall, JW went towards the back with the AWP as well, is going to be ready to follow up, and then Grims just spams into the intro to smoke to get the last kill on Oboe. Fnatic lead now 14 to 9, another gun round that complexity needed, unfortunately, doesn't go their way. And it seems like they're just going to go ahead and buy up what they can, at least Poison has. This does seem like a map, though, to me where. He made the point that it was the same for JW on the T side, and I agree, yeah, he was playing with a rifle most of the time as well, mm -hmm. but he's not afraid to go aggressive. This guy, he keeps W keen and playing that those aggro angles, even CT side opping. 
if he had it on the T side as well. But for complexity, it feels like they have a leash on poison. When they play the CT side, he has very passive roles. He either plays towards short and waits for the push through. Never mind that point. Doesn't matter. Let's just ignore it. They're already blitzing up through mid. The fastest round from complexity so far. And the kills going their way, actually, as Brawling gets shut out. That's the A side overrun. And a plant to come through. Fnatic, they are coming through CT, but they're being watched. And the weapons retrieved by complexity. Presuming Oboe gets an upgrade in a second. There we go. Are just too much to handle. Golden should just be saving at this point. Solid round from complexity. Oh. If Lusha had got that kill on library, it would have been still a really good decision. He said no golden alone. You had the O come out because he was creeping up behind Obo, <laughs> who didn't realize. It eventually was spotted by his teammates, but as you can see, the main goal there for Golden was to try and retrieve that AWP, which he was successful with. He's actually going to be able to back away with it, but of course, complexity coming through with what was an overall weaker investment. You only had Poison actually fully commit to it and managed to get themselves a, a bit of a lifeline now to start building back into this. They don't let the map point go over to Fnatic. They don't let the serious point go over to Fnatic, more importantly. As now there is certainly some hope for them to start clawing their way back in here on the T side, but it's still quite a long road ahead of them. We do see Fnatic with the off being saved, of course, being able to buy back in with no real weaknesses, but it does cost them everything, pretty much. JW dropping one rifle. He'll have a bit of money left over, I believe, but that's pretty much it. Same for Brolin. Yeah, that investment is going to be crippling if they lose it. Complexity could get away right back on into the game. Poison on the AWP now, T side. He went out for that mid-fight, the flash came over, but it forced JW back just before he could get the angle right on him. With complexity, pushing towards A, giving up all control in Banana. Fnatic have got to start scratching their heads and realizing something is up. They're jump spotting it, no presence whatsoever, and nades come over A. That should be a rotate already making its way through, and it is. Flushes on his way. They're actually completely leaving Banana. And this is the right call. They need to make it to reinforce this bomb site, but no kills yet. Complexity smoke off pit and hold down those positions. But they do have to make their way to the side. A short is going to be fought for by Brawlin. Poison's waiting there and catching the shot after missing the first. It's backed by a lot of players as well. And then the boost up in over towards the day allows Rush to catch Flush rotating in. And now JW on the bomb site is screwed. Being spammed from every side. It is all on Golden and Complexity should be able to chain a couple rounds together. Golden lines up two of them. There was some really good control though. It was a bit of a transfer needed. There's a player towards Grave. If he had to put the Molly in Grave, it could have been what they needed. But either way, Complexity already had that double peak prepared that you've seen right there. So they were ready to swing in together and get that trade frag. It wasn't needed in the end, of course, but they had the kind of insurance there. 14 to 11, three rounds now only in the difference. And as I said, off the back of that, Fnatic cannot buy. That didn't stop them before, Dean, <laughs> with the three nades. Yeah, it did not. But that's a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, really, yeah. isn't it? They've only got the one nade this time, but they have a lot more deagles. <laughs> that can be scary, too. True. True. They win it with the... And look at complexity. No one's going towards that top banana until a couple nades come in. They're going to just take their time for a second. No one to buy they're up against. Looking out for opportunities. JW's always already taken down, excuse me. Not always taken down. That, that would be actually incorrect. Really, this is just about being slow and methodical for complexity. They don't want to give away too much and with the presence being made towards top banana the rotate is through by flusha after the opening duel already found on a they're gonna stack up here and just gamble that this is where complexity move towards but evidently that is not their intention they are starting to shimmy on to b with the bomb obo just pokes out on mid faking out a little bit of presence telling them hey there's a flash there's a player here maybe they're taking it oh no obo's actually going to go in for long Against this kind of a buy, this is very risky. If they take him down, they'll be all too happy to save that AK. And he realizes that was a deagle that shot at him. It's not time to continue aggressing. Instead, falling back and just holding for them, pushing out afterwards. Oh, and he may find one soon. Crims is pushing through the apartments and may come out onto the balcony in just a moment. The timing could be awkward. Robo was considering pushing in towards middle, but there we go. Spots the leg coming around the corner. Crims isn't really going to want to fight that one too aggressively himself at least on that angle and you also don't imagine obo is going to really hunt this at all they know they don't have much to gain from hunting and have a lot more really to give over to fanatic 
Well, you will see Brolin pushing forward. They're still holding their ground. They're waiting to see if those CTs do come to them, just keeping the advantageous positions, holding the angles with those weapons. And there we go. Eventually, Crims is able to get one. Peeking down mid, gets a second. Two quick headshots, maybe more. Not quite, though. Obo is able to deal with it to stop any weapons from being retrieved and even gets that final kill on Golden. Again, though, not much to be lost for Fnatic. Those couple of kills towards the end are a pretty big find for them. It's keeping the economy for Complexity modest. But coming back onto their buy, if Fnatic lose this one, suddenly it's 14 to 14 and Complexity are right back in this. And we could be on a, a similar position to that previous map where we're head-to-head we're -head going into the final two rounds. Another important round for Complexity to take if they want to keep themselves alive in it. Otherwise, at least regulation will be forfeit again. We see the mollies going down and banana. The nades not yet deployed in towards tree, which we've seen so frequently from Fnatic. This gives at least a moment for Config to survive. And this time they're not targeting the tree. Instead, it's slightly deeper into banana on wider angles, leaving Config with just a, just a tickle. Good shot on the flush. Yeah, and almost open, opens up B completely. Golden forced back to the bomb site. Holding behind a smoke and has a little util of his own left, but that prompts. Oh, he's been naded down in the corner as well. And it prompted up A aggression as they moved forward. Obo just shuts them down. And with that, Fnatic, the round's already out of their grasp, really. They're two man stacking in towards this B bomb site complexity, just running the numbers now to make a decision on where they want to take things, hoping that Fnatic get aggressive. But I think they'll be happy to probably save these two M4s if it comes to it. Just sit on B. If they push you, so be it. You take the fight, see if you can win it. And if they don't, well then, happy days. You bring over the two M4s to the next round. Are they sending a couple players on to B? Are they going to actually commit to this? It, it looks like it. Ideally, Fnatic want to, as you said, save these weapons over. Especially with these two go. players being the ones who have quite a lot of utility. And yeah, they will be able to deal with config. As soon as those two players are spotted, you will see the bomb running in towards A. And again, you don't really want to see complexity putting too much towards this, but there is definitely, this time around, it, a reason for them to actually try and hunt this one down. If they can take even one of those weapons out of hands of Fnatic, then it impacts them severely in this next round. And even without the full loss bonus, it's going to be a, a, a quite difficult for them to get the full buy if they want it. And I don't know if they would actually decide to go for it, with it being so, so close right now in the rounds. Trouble in towards sandbags. Even if he got that first kill, the, t the other two players likely would have just swung in and had a pretty easy trade. So Brolin all alone, and he's still in trouble. You know they've got plenty of time to just get into position and push him down afterwards. He looks for the swing to CT. They've already crossed over. There they are spotting him. And Oba wins, but there were two more players ready to swing around the corner. I don't think there was any way Problem was getting out of that. Plus players about to come in from his left. That's 14 to 13. Fnatic building up loss bonus, but not building up the rounds they need to close this one out. And things are, as we said, coming into the map still pretty scary. Complexity could be taking it across the line. They had a really good performance on Nuke. Inferno didn't look much worse for them, really. It's only when we come on to the next one of Train that Fnatic take a, a pretty hefty lead in, in favor early on. But if Complexity manage to bounce back and take this, at least they'll have a chance to close it out. Nice nades early on. Still More. keeping two. Yeah. On the utility belts. It was the they're delayed nade wait. last time. Yeah, I don't think they're going to throw them in in the same position, though. They're not really looking as aggressive this time. I think it's more so they'd bounce them over the roof down on top of the car. If you did actually see the players pushing up and making noise around that area. But we're still not really going to be seeing too much here from Fnatic. Or at least we shouldn't be seeing too much from them. We never know what can be done with these deagles. But yeah, complexity being heavily favored despite that small bit of damage early on. The flash in took Crimson initially off the angle, trying to peek back in and will be taken down. And Obo, standing in the smoke, already posted on the angle, spams away to get that kill of Roland. And it, there it is, this round is done. No danger from the pistols is going to be imposed from Fnatic. And indeed, we're only Golden left standing. I mean, there's not really much reason for him to save. I'm sure the HE could be handy in this next round, I guess. But they have a loss bonus, so it won't really be needed. So if we could manage to take out one or two players, that could potentially help them. The, the economy is okay for complexity, so it's not really going to unfortunately leave them with any weaker weapons in the next round or anything along those lines, even if he was to get a few. Now, the benefit would just be saving a weapon for that CT side, but that's what complexity knows. They took away and don't offer up anything to Golden. 
14 to 14 tied up. That means it's time for Fnatic to pull out the 1v4s. At least if last map's anything to go by. Two on five, one v four, all around crazy. <laughs> yep. Th yeah, madness. this was when it happened. That fourteen, fourteen, as you said, and it was the final two rounds. It was just, it was ridiculous, honestly. Complexity, the fact that they bounced back after that. Look at Obodo. He's thirteen, the thirty-four to seven. Sorry, I don't know how I said that so wrong. It, yeah, that is incredible. <laughs> he the man is. is dominate, and everyone else is mm -hmm. contributing on a pretty equal level. But it's definitely a top-heavy scoreboard. Oh, yeah. Uh, but for complexity, it's better to see this coming out over towards the T side than CT, I guess, mm -hmm. to have such a top-heavy one. Fnatic, despite being able to obviously carry their own weight perfectly, are desperately struggling in these early fights. I mean, complexity had such a good read on them coming into the final, uh, the, the last buy round that we saw. With the early duels going their way, they start pushing up aggressively on Banana, but Oboe lurking in the apartments just completely tears them apart. And from a position where we've seen him find quite a lot not he's been playing in, in apps up against pistols we saw it on the ct side even with the aggression that's been coming through where they cut off i think it was the, the round where he had a 3k to shut down fanatics push Nobo just in general obviously yeah he's been the the key player for them the fanatic need to start being a little bit more conscious they're trying to react with crims going straight down middle posting up close Covered by the AWP of JW. He's being flashed off the angle. Sprays early. That gives it away. They're going to take him down immediately. JW tried to push up with... No. What? Oh, yeah, he did. And he couldn't get it. I'm so confused. Flush just got killed by health, Golden. And Golden somehow finished him off. I think he was spamming the smoke as Flushy was walking back through and must have caught him with a bullet. We didn't actually manage to catch the perspective exactly, but we swapped over just as Golden was kind of thinking about what he had done. <laughs> Oh, this is a this is a horrible round for that to happen, and a three on five now to recover from. The four on five wouldn't have been the worst position, even with Flush being low, because they themselves have dealt out quite a lot of damage to complexity. Config and Blame Effort barely hanging on. Poison is tagged up a little bit. He's still on decent enough health with sixty nine. Hmm, <laughs> the perfect health. Yeah, the perfect one. A hundred, nah. Here come the smokes over towards the A site, locking out the long players. JW trying to get one with the AWP. He finds it. Got teammate here to support him, but he doesn't need it. Goes out for more. Can't find it. Oh my god, they've taken Brawl in two. Obo, he's too Obo smart. Has. He's too good. <laughs> this man needs to stop. A double kill. No way he could have known Brawlin was there and still manages to find it. Golden, 1v3. Can he do it? He found the 1v4. It was easier. Th this was easier, I mean. But there's an op in front of him, and now saving, that's just a little bit too tempting. With no utility, no kit, and no info anymore. What a heartbreaking round, just all over. JW done what he could to try and recover it there on long, but after the team kill, after the initial frag being found, and then just Obo with those fantastic trades, again being unstoppable for Complexity. As he brings them up to 15, Complexity have confirmed the map point, and... Uh, most now Fnatic in this next round with a limited buy trying to fight for the overtime. Oh, and even then Golden did. doesn't hit the shot and there we go. The op is gone. It's Obo to confirm that the buy for Fnatic will be just all weak weapons. It's not going to be really any M4s or anything unless they were willing to drop one over and leave a player without Kevlar, whoever was dropping it. So that's very, very unlikely. Look okay, at what they can. A couple of Famasas, a Mag 7, an MP9, a second MP9. It is atrocious. But we've seen Fnatic do more with less. So I'm not going to count them out yet, but this should be complexity being able to force this to a third map. It should. And on the upside, the buy for Fnatic is symmetrical. So there are positives to be sought after. Oboe is close to dropping a 40 bomb. I mean, this guy is unbelievable. And what a time for him to step it up as well. In such a tight series, Fnatic won the first map off the back of individual performances. And Oboe said, all right. I mean, I'll take that and raise you one. The Mag 7 of JW, he lands himself an opening duel, but getting out of apartments could have been difficult. He's managed to stay up close, actually, looking to go in after Oboe, and he's taken him down. A very important kill. The man you want to be dropping in this situation. Config on 1 HP as well. Fnatic have pulled this one back into the realm of possibility as Complexity move into the B site. There are two players here with a rotate from Brawl, and he's here alongside Flusha. No one's worried about being team killed now that Golden's gone. The smoke's over as they look to execute in. Brawlin's got a nade for them, thrown a little bit early, but it oh. still finds the mark under the 1HP config. Yeah, it was actually only the one kill from the nade. Those kills were so in sync that it looked like the nade actually picked up the double from above. 
No, Blame F left alone. It's looking like Fnatic have actually managed to go ahead and confirm themselves this overtime, give themselves the opportunity to stop worrying about that economy too much and go ahead and try and fight back into this, keeping themselves with a chance for the 2-0. Oh. Although Blame F is fighting once again. He's brought it down to the one on two. And for the moment, you don't really see Krims being able to do a lot. He wants to wait for JW to rotate over. Bomb is going to be stuck by Blame F. He's not going to tap it. He'll get it down in time. But now I believe he has been spotted repositioning. No, yeah, hell the nade no. goes in. That should be it. There we go. Perfectly played. JW tosses it down. It would have at least done some further damage and made it that little bit easier for them. And he also had a Molotov. I don't know. I, no, I believe he probably retrieved that on the way in. <laughs> I think he did. 15 to 15. We're going to hit an overtime. And I guess if they lose this, then Oboe's just one up the story I told of... Fnatic versus Heretics on Nuke, where Brawlin found 36 kills and they still lost. Oboe will be like, 36? I got 37, bro. It's one hell of a performance. But I'm sure it's going to get even better as we move on into the OT. 10k OT, though. Do remember that, which is why you're seeing JW have a Mag 7. It's not, not a normal thing to see. But having something like that or an XM, which is more conventional, we'll see... You actually in with a pretty good chance so first of all pretty good chance of saving over your money because it's 10 kot if you lose two rounds but who's going to expect a mag 7 who not a single person is going to say oh they probably have a mag 7 this oh, round look at the nades again. another one through config spam flush it with a double never mind the mag 7 it's all just about to be hold golden kind of whiffed it but he took down poison afterwards so we'll forgive him and Blamef has already tagged up as well, so it's easy enough then for Flusher to actually confirm his hat trick in this round with three frags being found. Roland looking tempted to peek into mid. That could give Oboe a small chance, and this man, he has been playing incredible. So if there is anyone you don't want to be peeking one by one right now in this situation, it is certainly Oboe. But with a flank coming in from JW, it's a mag 7, so I don't think he wants to push up too aggressively, but he needs to be careful. It's not the ideal weapon. Ah, but it's easy. He's going to go for the knife. There we go. We had one in the previous map from JW. JW, we have one now as well. And as you said, Fnatic and Knives, they just go together so well. Yeah, obviously, we've got some, some new people, Dean. Some, some people that aren't familiar with the rules. Not supposed to bring up the voice cracks. I got to do that. Did you hear the voice crack? I did. I, I did at one point. I didn't even know, sir. So. Oh, thank you, Dean. Unfortunately, hundreds of people did. Chat are a lot more ruthless, though. Yeah. <laughs> They're just listening, waiting. Go on, do it. I dare you. Only a, a two-man early A presence to come through. JW, uh, not surprisingly, hasn't decided to go for the uh, Mag Seven instead of the AK. The right call, really. 16 to 15. This is really important, though. All memes aside, complexity. Move in towards the top banana. The Molly is about to go down close for. Um, forcing Flusher back. That is horrible. That gave away that Flusher was a float. Now they have some oh good info. Oh yeah, God Golden's going to find them. Was initially posted on the angle expecting the op to peek back in, but just flicks over, finds the head of Flusher, and yeah, that whole kind of situation. There was a <laughs> bit of an ordeal. Golden's just not having a problem. good day, man. He's just... Oh, the nades as well. Whoop. Yeah, decent damage. It's only the one. The second definitely would have taken him down, but... Good damage either way to extend what was already an advantageous position for complexity in this round. Yeah, Golden's game has been a little off on the CT side. I'll, I'll give him that. Had a hell of a performance in the previous map. Okay, we're going to see a flash go over. No, we're not. Golden doesn't have a flash. And yet still, close we go. Grims wanted to play up, but he gets it from the back. Over on the bomb side, Golden swings out wide. Doesn't get himself a kill, but Grims, he's got four. Sprays them down one after another. Makes it look easy, and he even finds the ace. What a way to close out the round. 17 to 15. Golden didn't get the kill tactically, so Grims could ace. That's it. Confirmed. Fnatic seem to get like more superpowers as the game goes on. <laughs> the later it is into the map, the, the more insane they just become. What a round by Grims. A fantastic ace and... With that, taking themselves the opening two rounds of the overtime and actually somewhat limiting the buy here for complexity as they're forced to pull out a Galil and then a Tech-9 on Poison. Of course, him going into the op has cost him quite a, uh, quite a bit more. So this is not a good position to be in. If Fnatic can get themselves this final round, all they need is one on that T-side to close it out. And to remember as well, they actually had a really strong T-side. Flusha, look at this sneaky beaky like straight down the second mid. Oh, he missed the shots. Now he's in trouble. The nade to try and do a little bit of he's, damage, but yeah, they're great. everywhere. There's no way he gets away with this. Brawlin's there to support, finds one, but he has to bail after that. 
making the best of a bad situation, I guess. But JW, look at this. No way they predict him to be in this corner. If a little bit of noise is made from the balcony by Brawlin. And yeah, he's... Oh, he was looking to bait them as they walked through. No, he still is, okay. But they decide to back off anyways. So complexity aren't going to be... Walking in and getting knived by JW. No knives for now. I'm gonna shift this back over towards B. No one aggressive from Fnatic. It is just Golden being entrusted to solo this side of the map with the AWP. There is still some smokes in place, so they should be able to cut him off from really being able to see too much. And it's only now that Brolin's actually beginning to rotate back in. And nicely timed smoke, though, so that's certainly going to complicate things for complexity. They may have to just actually move through this. And yeah, that is the goal. Brolin, though, waiting on the other side in the CT spawn. Finds two, drops the bomb. They put the Molotov down to try and stop the recovery, but a smoke coming in extinguishes it. And it will actually be found back into the possession for compl of complexity, but it makes no difference. Brolin gets himself four. And there it is, Fnatic with a flawless first half to the overtime. Complexity after pulling off an incredible T-side during regulation are just not able to show even a kind of glimpse of that in the overtime. Well, Dean, it has been one hell of an incredible series so far. Fnatic winning out Nuke, just barely clutching it, bringing themselves into an OT with the use of a, an opening duel by a Mag-7 and then just a flurry of frags afterwards. And now here we are. In what could be the final round with the attacking side of Fnatic bought up, armed to the teeth, and nade right onto Poison. Lucky to survive that one. It's the second nade didn't make its way in, thankfully. Oh, that is so close. No way. Let's just survive that on 2 HP. It's traded out by the nade, but that's such a good start for Fnatic with JW finishing Poison off and Rush by himself to hold off the A-Rush. They know. They're getting ready really quickly to move off the back of this now. Rush in the pit is going to be Molly. He does have a smoke to put down, not before taking some damage. And of course, allowing Fnatic to actually close in the distance. Tries to swing in. JW even holding off the rotation. Actually, doesn't hit on Obo. It's a dangerous shot to miss, again, especially against such a dangerous man. But it doesn't matter. Gets that kill. Eventually, at least notices that Flame F is coming even in from behind. Even if he doesn't get the kill. But suddenly, it's a one-on-two. There is some hope now. There's a smoke that could be used to oh. isolate the fight. But he expects the elevated crims. Takes him down. Knows that Brolin is in towards the pit now. Puts the smoke in where he's standing to make things a lot more difficult. And just restrict that vision completely. Brolin on the bicycle right now. But he's not cycling. He's waiting for this beat. And there it is. Blame F with a one-on-four to save the day for complexity. He keeps them in it. Fantastic work by Blame F. A 4K. And what else can you expect in this series, Dean? It's been play after play. It just uh. keeps on giving. The best one I think we've had in Road to Rio so far. We've had good maps before, but back to back. Clutch is keeping teams alive, pulling them through to victory. And a pause comes through. A technical, I believe. A player is disconnected yeah, from the server. Yeah, crashed. Either one player's left complexity or Brawlin's just... Went, nah, that was a, such yeah. a good clutch by Blame F. I'm swapping sides. <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry, boys, I have to. <laughs> Obo's on 39 kills right now, but Blame F, he's also playing quite well, 24 to 21. But yeah, it is Config who crashed out. So hopefully he won't be too long returning. I believe it was just a game crash. All they said is Config crash, so I wouldn't presume it's anything apart from just the game closing itself. That does happen every now and again. Mm -hmm. An unfortunate time for it to happen, though, is Complexity are going to have to kind of take a few moments to chill now. But I guess that can be good. It, it, Blame F pulling off a one on four might have got them hyped up. They probably want to compose themselves so that they can just play their game here. Still, we don't want to wait long. No, not off the back of that clutch, Dean. I mean, Complexity just did so well to pull back into it. That gives you that little burst of energy where you're ready to go. But now they've got to just sit down and wait. That is sad. When you look towards the... um, Oh, he's back. He's ready to go. We should be getting back into it in just a couple of seconds, so no need to even take it towards the, the story yeah, confirmed. time. Confirmed. Everyone is ready. Go. Pause is gone. Now, remember, as I said, this is 10k overtime, so you will run out of money eventually, potentially. But Fnatic got a lot of kills and a bomb plant. Because of that, their money is built up decently, but the op does strain the economy. You see, JW won't have money to buy for the next round. The reason I'm saying this is it's so important for Complexity to win this. Obviously, because they'll lose otherwise. But if they do, then the last round should be so much more, uh, so much easier for them to connect. The nades going towards the top of Banana. They do so much damage. 
no, no matter what side complexity you're on, they keep getting hit by these. The CT, the T side, just banana. Stay away from oh. it. But Oboe is the one you want to avoid. He's just unstoppable. It is getting ridiculous at that at this point. It doesn't seem like anyone is able to put him down. I mean, the amount of damage that has been done, as you said, every single player right now on complexity is tagged up quite heavily, if not extremely heavily so this is certainly recoverable it's actually going to be jw who's leading the way here with the awp two players towards b config going to be the first man on site there's one in towards the spawn as well and the smoke will go down jw spots a tiny bit of the shoulder flame f with a risky play for the smoke it works for one kill but they've traded back they're going to get the bomb plant and now that health becomes an even more defining factor in this retake for complexity this is dangerous. JW with the op, it doesn't make a massive difference to him, but he's just going to go ahead and connect either way. He follows up on Obo through the wall. And finally, they show that Obo is a mere mortal after all. It's going to be rushed this time that has to come up big to save complexity. A difficult clutch as he swings into JW, and the final shot rings true. Fnatic 19 